Woo! What's today? November 15th? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. November 15th, 2023 is Wednesday. Hope they help, faith they help other people excel. Faith is forwarding all your issues to heaven. It's cold outside. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I'm just coming to tell y'all today, man, anytime you try to do great, try to do better, elevate yourself. The enemy is on the trail. Now, here's the thing. I posted this before. Don't let the uh, weapons formed against you confuse with the weapons that you formed against yourself. Woo! That's heavy. That is heavy. Let me say that again. Don't confuse the weapons formed against you from others that you may have actually formed against yourself. Mm. Remember, remember that sometimes the enemy is inside of you and you look and you want to reach out to other people for your misdirected or misguided anger or unforgiveness. There's a lot of things that people are going through today that we have no idea. Me, you, her, him, everybody, everybody has a challenge in life, but it's how you deal with it. It's how you reciprocate what's going on. You know, if you think life is just about you, you're sadly mistaken because if that was the case, you would be the only person on earth right now. And when you wake up, there's a bajillion people just around you, let alone the people that you've never seen, never met at places you've never been. So therefore be ye grateful because there is nothing that can stop you if you want truth peace now peace is not killing somebody else's dream killing somebody else's vision so that you can be happy tearing somebody else down so that you can be happy that's false that's fake that's not real that's not sincere that's not true peace that's a piece of somebody else so if you think just having things and and causing wreaking havoc in other people's lives so you can be happy and you <laughs> You snargle behind it. You know, that's the enemy. You know, that's the enemy in you. See, so it doesn't make any sense because there's no true peace in that. If people are not peace and have peace that are around you. Then something's wrong. If you want to keep claiming, well, I just want peace. Well, I'm at peace. You can't be at peace when there's a tornado going around you that you've created or that you continue to create. You have to understand that. Now, I posted yesterday that uh, yesterday, like I said, 19, 20 years ago, I got shot in the back, left for dead. You have no idea what that felt like unless you've ever been shot. And of course, you have never spoken to somebody who has not survived it. So I'm here to tell you, man, there's a lot of things that we need to level up on. Even me still, after this time, I'm still working my way up. But you know, I've been clear and clarified on some things about people and about situations on how to deal with them. Because before that happened, I would have snapped, slapped crackled and popped a whole bunch of people for what they have done to me, for what they have said about me, for, for, for what they're still trying to do, what they're still saying about me. But it doesn't matter because it's all lies. It's all based off of, 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 of hate, fear, doubt, jealousy, envy, all those things that they're, you know, dealing with internally. People want to reach out to the closest person to them, you know, but they need help. And people that don't want to get help, I mean, it's a sad situation because it affects everybody around you. Um, it's important. Scripture says that we need to seek wise counsel, not just any counsel, but wise counsel who's honest, sincere and, 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 and you know, non-biased in, in what's going on in particular situations. But you got to watch out for those who don't want to get individual counseling or help. It's OK to do that. Society has you believe it otherwise, <clears throat> but it's OK because number one, Scripture says it. Number two, it's actually OK because we need each other to connect again. Philippians 2, 4 says, not only looking out for the interests of others, but also in addition to the interests of yourself. So let me back it up. Philippians 2, 4 says in it, the chapter 2, speaking about imitating Christ's humility. So 2 and 4 says, Philippians 2 and 4 says, let us not only look out for the interests of ourselves, but also the interests of other people. Now, that doesn't say with conditions. That doesn't say if they do something for you, then I'm going to look out for you. It doesn't say that. That's not the true imitation of Christ's humility. It's doing for others no matter what, regardless of how you feel, no matter what you think, no matter what's going on in your life. That's what it says. It's clear. It's a clear line. It says, let us not look out for only our interests of, of our own, but also the interests of others. It doesn't say with condition. So when people want to do that and they say, oh, I, 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 it ain't, it ain't, that ain't hitting 
I'm trying to give you some hope, help other people excel. That's what Hope Day is about. Hope Day is actually every day. Faith is forwarding your issues, forwarding all issues to heaven. Come on. I mean, you got to do better. We got to do better because we have a future in front of us, which happens every few seconds that we need to realize. So when you're not willing to let go of your past, not willing to, to try to heal from your past and try to blame other people for your past, for the decisions that you chose to make. Now, you know, it's different. That's interesting. You got to keep moving forward. I'm telling you every time new, what do they say? New levels, new devils. You know, it's just the enemy. The enemy knows the scripture. The enemy knows what you're trying to do. So, and it's sometimes it's the people that's right next to you. You got to be wise. You got to be careful. You got to be nimble. You got to be quick. What they say, Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Jack, jump over the candlestick. We got to do that sometimes. You know, we got to be able to divert and move through these flames or around them if we can. But see, God has control of everything. No matter what he sees all, he knows all. It doesn't matter how many people try to lie, cheat, and steal from you. They think they're getting away with it, but God has a way of, of, of fixing all that. You know, I'm not trying to mix karma to say, well, God's going to punish you for something that you did 20 years ago. That's not scriptural. I do know this, though, that God will punish those who sin. I'm going to keep it clear with you. I'm going to keep it plain because you need to research the scripture. Now, when people try to manipulate the scripture and they try to manipulate all these things and they put on this false sense of reality about who they are. And, you know, sometimes it's, 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 it's how they grew up. Sometimes it's the false sense of security that they were given by their parents or whoever raised them or wherever they were raised at to say that they can't do any wrong. And that's a false sense of reality, especially when they get out here in real life and they don't know what to do. So the best thing to do with that is, number one, take note of it, right? Make sure that you're not the cause of it. And sometimes, again, if you weren't there three, four, five, 10, 15 years ago, you're not responsible for that, but some people will try to hold you accountable for what they dealt with a long time ago and they haven't even chose to deal with before and it's still going on and now you just happen to be in their life for that moment and now all of a sudden you're responsible. Don't work that way. Don't work that way. The reality is, is people just want to live this false sense of reality. I ain't never told nobody I was perfect. I ain't even going to confess that I'm perfect. And neither should you, because you're not. Now, God knows all, he sees all, but everybody ain't God's child. Let me be clear on that. If you look and read the scripture, it will tell you that. <laughs> because what's happening right now, God is separating those people, the lukewarm Christians from the real Christians, the ones that actually do what God says without bias, without judgment. You know, it, it, it's amazing. And you see this happening every time you, People can just be doing what they want to do, trying to elevate themselves. And people will do anything. People that's close to you, family, friends, it don't matter. They will try to tear you down just because you're happy. Just because you're trying to do the right thing for everybody when they only want to do the thing for themselves. And it will come out. It's all coming out in the wash. I promise you, just like the sun rises every day, bless the Lord, it's all coming out. Everything in the dark is coming to the light. So people can mask all these things with what they do and what they say. Uh, it's all coming back. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just here to tell you, you need not to stop. No matter what you're dealing with, no matter what you're going through, don't you quit. Don't you stop doing what you need to do for your own peace and happiness. Now, if you're trying to get your peace and happiness again by stepping on people, by lying on people, by disrespecting people, by stealing from people, that ain't no true peace. That ain't real. That's a false sense of reality right there. So you're psyching yourself out, but you're not psyching out the people that really know what's going on. So stay encouraged, stay focused, keep doing what you got to do no matter what. Keep building, keep elevating. You see what I'm saying? I'm telling you, my pastor keep talking about these chicken conversations versus these eagle conversations. And when you take flight and try to just continue to do better for everybody and you know what your true purpose is in life and it's not to hurt people, to harm people, to make people feel bad and you're just trying to do right. That's it. That's it. That's it. Don't you worry about it. God got you covered. Have better conversations. Have real conversations. Don't be down here with the chickens, as my pastor said. Get up here with the eagles. Eagle conversations. They don't carry lies. Eagles don't carry hate. Eagles don't carry anything. Eagles don't carry dead weight. But when they do, they fall to the ground. So let that stuff go. And sometimes you got to get rid of folk. Just is what it is. I love you on purpose, not by accident. Happy Hope Day. Help other people excel.
Peace.